do. My name is Alfred Hitchcock, and I would like to tell you about my forthcoming lecture. It is about the birds and their age-long relationship with man. It will be seen in theaters like this across the country. In my lecture, I hope to make you all aware of our good friends, the birds. Theirs is a noble history, and through it all, man has played a conspicuous part. This cave drawing is one of man's earliest sketches of his feathered friend. One can see at once the loving care with which the artist depicted his subject. The story of man and his friends, the birds, is filled with many fine examples of ways in which these noble creatures have added to the beauty of the world. Take this plumed hat from the period of Charles I. How proud the birds must have been to have their feathers plucked out to brighten man's drab life. Here we have a later model a refinement of the first. Here man, or rather woman, thought enough of the birds to have an entire one as a decoration. It's quite dead, of course. Naturally, the egg plays a very prominent part in my lecture. Not a word about which came first, however. I don't believe in dealing with controversial matters. Thousands of years ago, man was satisfied merely to steal an egg from a nest and use it for food. Now he has perfected this process by imprisoning each hen in a separate cage and by scientifically manipulating the lights so that she doesn't fall into the rut of the old 24-hour day. Thus, he can induce the bird to reach fantastic heights of egg production. Originally, there were many varieties of birds on Earth. Some have become extinct. The great auk, the passenger pigeon, and the famous dodo bird have all disappeared. Actually, they didn't exactly disappear. They were simply killed off, but of course, this is nature's way. Man merely hurries the process along whenever he can be of help. Man and birds have been responsible for a great many advances in our civilization. For example, the bird was the inspiration for the invention of gunpowder, and it was his speed that brought about the development of the shotgun. But man has not been unmindful of his debt to the bird. We have honored our feathered friends in many ways. We cage birds and show them off proudly in most of our zoos. And the turkey is traditionally our guest of honor at Thanksgiving. I suspect you never realize that if it weren't for birds, even some of our pastimes would suffer noticeably. Duck hunting, for example. Granted, bagging a fellow hunter can be diverting, but the supply is rather limited. I hope you don't mind if I have something to eat, but I'm rushed today. Planning the lecture has been most educational for me. I've begun to feel very close to the birds and have developed a real sympathy for our little... What was I saying? Oh, yes, I've come to feel very close to the birds and have come to realize how they feel when... I don't think I'll eat just now. Hardly proper with all of you here. Surely the birds appreciate all we've done for them. Don't you? Beautiful cage, fresh water, no other birds to bother you, none of that blinding sunlight. Oh! Now, why would he do that? Most peculiar. What on earth?